Hello everybody, I'm Dana Crawford. Welcome to The Shipping Show. Forgive me for not putting anything up for the month last month. So I've had a lot going on besides all of my shipping and eBay. I also do um, consulting and I do a lot with the food bank and all kinds of other stuff. And plus I had some big contracts I had to take care of. So now we're back in the swing of the shipping shows hopefully. Jimmy is actually at a state sale right now, and I didn't go with him this morning because I have enough stuff, and he um, couldn't resist. He has to go. He loves the hunt. I love the hunt, too, but when I have enough stuff, I don't like to go out and get more stuff, but that's just me. I don't, I don't hunt until I have listed everything that I have. So, meanwhile, let's get started. Oh, it's, it's April Fool's Day, so don't be a fool today. I'm not being a fool because I have a lot of shipping to do. First, oh yes, thank you, Lee, for the beautiful email that you sent me and wondered where I was, and she said how she missed me on YouTube. So that really touched my heart. I really appreciate it when you guys contact me. It makes me think, oh, people do like watching our shipping show. So I really appreciate it. If you um, go to powersellingmom.com and there's a place to contact me at the top and just click on contact me. And please, I'd love your input. If you have any suggestions or comments, good or bad, I'd love to hear from you because um, I'm open to all suggestions. All right. Thank you also, Marissa, for all your emails and also um, Sharon, Sandy, Thank you, Sandy. Shout out to Sandy. And I know Jimmy Sons has loved everybody, too. He'll be here. I know he has one item to ship today, and so I'll save it for um, him to round it up. I have four items to ship. So this is the first item. This is a Lily Vintage Weave thing. Um, <clears throat> who remembers making pot holders? I did back in the day, but we always used plastic. No, no, I think they were metal. <clears throat> excuse me but they were smaller this is like a thing to make them bigger so you can make like placemats with them so it's pretty old so I'm gonna put some protection inside to keep it from banging around inside the box so you can see this actually I'm selling for a friend and I sold it for $55 I had a lot of offers on I had I do have make an offer on most all my stuff so I had a lot of um, people try to make offers for five dollars and silly low amounts and of course I'm not gonna sell it for that so someone finally came along and paid my asking price and it was probably on for about four or five months and sometimes things take time so although I wouldn't keep it on for too long <laughs> Because you guys know how I hate inventory. But this doesn't take up a lot of space, so it's okay. All right, let's see where it's going. Okay, I thought I'd share some of this process with you because I've had so many questions about how to ship. So I put some newspaper inside the box to protect everything from bouncing around. And then I wrapped two bags around it. Of course, I put my little thank you note inside. Thank you, enjoy the loom, Dana, and then my business card. And then um, what I'm going to decided to do, because of the weight, it's like two pounds. It's a little less than two pounds, but it equals two pounds. And if I could fit it, it's just a hair too big to go in a flat rate envelope. If it was a little shorter, I could have fit it in an illegal size flat rate envelope and saved money. It's going to Pennsylvania. So what I've decided to do is so that a box would get make it too much heavier, I'm going to go ahead and wrap bubble around this. And then I'm going to use two of these bags. These are You can order these for free from the post office. They're mailing envelopes. I call them Tyvek bags. They're actually mailing envelopes. You can order these free from the post office. They're really durable and they're really great. And they, they're um, quite sturdy. So it will save on weight versus putting it in a box because then it could go up to three pounds and then it'd be more money. And this is free shipping. So let's see how it goes. Okay, it's going to Rome, Pennsylvania. So the, the bag was a little too short, so I had to add. So what I did was I put it in two bags, slid it in one way and then turned it around, slid it in the other way. And the bag was a little too short, so I had to put some extra tape around the top. Now this is going to Rome, Pennsylvania. So the cool thing is, 
or what I decided to do. It was $7.91. And what I did was I put the, let's see if you can see this. I put the, um, <laughs> I can't think. I put the, the price on. Exposed so you have a choice to do that before you print your label if you want your customer to see how much it costs to ship or not Generally when I do free shipping, I usually do let them see how much it costs So why not because then they are happy even more they got a great deal <laughs> and then um, on, If it if they paid for shipping I generally hide the price of shipping That's just me and how I do it, but it's good all right, so this is cool. Let's see what's next. Okay, next I have this muscle machine. Now I had this up for $55 and make an offer. This guy came along and made an offer of $20 and I accepted it because he's a repeat customer. I probably would have done 30 on anyone else, but he's been back a few times and bought several of these cars and I like that. So repeat customers are good. So keep that in mind when you uh, make an offer to someone and if you are a repeat customer of theirs and when you make the offer, put that in the memo. Say, hey, I bought something from you last week and thought I'd return. You know, here's, here's an offer on this. I hope you accept if you feel that it's fair. And then um, it's a good way to um, talk to the, the seller and then you never know. They may have a deal for you. Sorry, I gotta go check my pool. Okay, the pool's fine. <laughs> Years ago, I used to have a, a pug dog that I rescued. I love pug dogs, They're, I grew up with them. But anyhow, I had a pug dog that I rescued and one day he, she ran outside and fell in the pool. And I didn't know it. And I saw lots of waves ro going around in the pool. And so I was like, what's going on? And so I went out and there was the poor little dog. <laughs> trying to get out of the pool so now when I see waves in my pool it freaks me out but it was just uh, Jimmy must have the pump on a timer so it kicked on so anyways I don't know why you needed to know that but now you know so let's go now these muscle cars that I've been selling I like to ship them in these um, what are these called these are shoe boxes and you order these from the post office as well they're free and I love them. They're not only they're not only just for shoes, so they're great for other things too. So this is a shoe box. So let's box it up. Okay, this is going to Victoria, Texas, and shipping was ten dollars and thirty-four cents. And I did not expose the shipping price because this was a calculated shipping, and they paid for shipping on this. And it actually, um, I get a discount with my um, top rated seller status. You get a discount on your shipping. So anyways, he paid um, 11 something and it was 10 something. So it, um, I guess I came out a dollar ahead. So I wouldn't put that so that he could see that on the label. <laughs> okay, moving along. Okay, this is a funny item. This is a top that's by Hollister. And I actually have one more left. It's, um, it's they're tiny little tops <laughs> for, for cute little girls or young women. And um, I have a pink one left in my shop. Anyhow, these are funny because I had bought a ton of these and it was the year that um, we spent a month in England. Well, we did that two years in a row, but the last year I brought a bunch of these. I bought them on clearance at Hollister online and bought a ton of them and then brought them to England and listed them on eBay UK so I could get familiar with how to sell on eBay UK and understand how it all worked with the postal service there and anyhow I loved it it was so much fun but this um, was I have two left that didn't sell so I brought them back home from England and I listed them and read the price because I want to get rid of them and so it just sold for $9.99 free shipping how cool is that <laughs> anyhow and then I have a pink one left if anybody is a small thing okay I put this in a recycled bag that Jimmy had gotten so you kind of see Jimmy's name there but it's a recycled bag and I have a little bit of eBay tape yet left so I use it very sparingly <laughs> to make it last 
And also, it's going to Jacksonville, Florida, not too far. So shipping was only two fifty. How much was that? Two. I hate to tell you the wrong thing. Yeah, so it was two fifty four shipping. Not bad. Okay, one more to go. Something. Who likes the Gators? Go Gators, Florida Gators. Okay, I have this Florida Gators windsuit. It's an extra large. It's pretty big. It comes with the the jacket and the pants. I had this up for $45 and um, Florida call. Anyhow, we'll ignore that. I had this up for $45. Actually, I think I had it for more and they made an offer. 10% went to um, the First Step Food Bank. So four bucks, 450 is going to my food bank. So I'm happy about that. And let's see where this gator suit is going. Oh, you know where I got it? I got it at the hospice thrift store for um, $8. So I paid $8 for it. And I made a few bucks for my food bank. So I helped hospice because I bought it at the hospice thrift store. And then I sold it on e Here comes Jimmy. And I sold it on eBay. And um, got to give 10% to my food bank. So how cool is that? So I made a few bucks for helping others. Or I should say I made a few dollars while I helped others at the same time. How awesome. Okay, you knew it had to be going to someone in Florida. So it's going to Jacksonville, Florida. Shipping was $5.83. Again, I love these bags. And I've got my lovely tape. I hate to run out of that. Okay, so that's it for my shipping. Are you ready? Okay, so Jimmy is um, going to take over now. And we'll see what kind of interesting thing. He has one. You have one to ship? You have one? Yeah. All right, come on. You know what it is? No, I don't know what it is. <laughs> no. All right, so Jimmy's home. Hello, everyone. Long time no see. I like, told him. God, you're all looking well. Um, this is a refrigerator filter replacement cartridge. And believe it or not, I paid a dollar for that and just sold it for 30, 30 Nine, thirty-five, ninety-nine. Well, that's not a good deal, is it? <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm just about to ship it. I don't know where it's gone, but um, it's a good deal, and that's all I got to ship today. Okay. I got five thousand items listed, and I just sold one. He doesn't have five thousand. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding, pigeon. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm just going to sell it. I'm okay. going to sh ship it right now. So right. I'll get back to you in a second. All right. We'll see where it's going. Action. Hello, yeah, it's going to Newport, Virginia. Is that right? Newport, Virginia costs three sixty for a first class. As many of you know, the first class is up to sixteen ounces now. But it should do at that price, shouldn't it? <laughs> uh, but listen, um, nice to see you all again. And remember, if we don't see you through the week, we'll see you through the window. And have a nice day. Thank, Thank you. you, everybody. I'm Dana. That's Jimmy. And he's um, the Irish Shamrock Company. <laughs> I am the Irish Shamrock Company. His eBay store is the Irish Shamrock Company. You can just type in the Irish Shamrock Company dot com. I'm askdana.com and um, come by our eBay stores and make an offer. You have make offer. Oh, I definitely give anybody this uh, on this. Listen to me right now. Twenty percent off any one of my items. Now that's the first. That's a first. Is it Christmas? Is it my birthday? <laughs> but anyway, 20%. That's a first for me, seriously. So, I'm okay. Still my happy fans. All right. Thanks, everybody. And also, be sure to check out my calendars. I have a few left, and I've dropped the price because now it's April 1st. So, don't be a fool. Especially at April. <laughs> Bye. Bye.